This is Rap the News, and we are looking at a chart that I made up, and I'm doing this off of the top of my head. I'm not reading a script or anything. I'm saying that we need to observe the signs of 2019, especially the first three months. Okay, it's looking, I ain't saying it is. It's looking like an exodus. Looking like an exodus. I didn't say it was. So, with that said, we are going to look at the signs. Because it, it is no date to say, your exodus will be in March, you know, such and such, on 20, in 2019. There, you have it. You know what I mean? These things we have to just study to show ourselves, approve, you know, see for ourselves. And then, like I said, uh, according to the Bible, you know, they changed the laws and, and the dates, you know, the, the Satans did. But um, they can't change the seasons and they can't change uh, the signs and the stars and the moons and, 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 the, and the, the planetary bodies, the uh, firmness. They can't change the signs of that. So here we have um, three super moons popping up uh, one uh, January one in February one in March okay so the one in Jan January is going to be on the 21st and it's going to be a full blood moon and I'm just going to explain the chart that you are seeing here to the left okay the next full moon is going to be uh, on February 19, 2019. And uh, that's going to be a super moon. And then we have the last full moon, which is going to be a super moon. And that's going to be in March 21st, 2019, during the equinox. Right? So, the reason why you got the 6, the 45, and the 9 is because there was a, a, a woman two years ago that I remember and I went back and watched her video uh, who had a dream about this and she said that um, uh, she had a dream about three boxes I believe those three boxes to be three moons and the first box had a six the next one had a 45 and a nine right and um, the next box popped up and it had a six and a nine. The first box that you see in the bottom, it has uh, individuals where the six is and then it had individuals where the nine is and the 45 was between them both. She believed the 45 to be Donald Trump, right? So she said when the next box popped up, Donald Trump wasn't there. So, if you got the first moon, where Donald Trump is here, which is a red moon, somewhere between January and February, according to the dream, not facts, not because God said it, just according to the dream, Donald Trump is supposed to be gone somewhere in February, this year, 2019. And so, she says, it began a political conflict. Right, as you see into the left of the screen, the middle of the screen, political conflict with each party on each side conflicting with each other. And then the next box popped up with a six and a nine, and it had individuals on each side. And then it began to be a faith based conflict. She then said when she looked at the numbers, she could see 666 to the left hand side. Which means she, she believed that it meant that the, um, you know, the wheats and the tares and the um, goats and the sheep is going to be separated. You know, one on one side and the other on the other side. She don't know what the 999 mean. It could be the sign of man. And 666 could be the sign of the beast. 45 is Donald Trump with him missing in the middle somewhere. Okay. I was watching Truth Unveiled here. You know, and he was talking about March equinox, and he believes that it could be the exodus. 
you know um she also in her dream was talking about the equinox because she said it was something about the equinox in her dream that was two years ago so she had that in 2017 you can look it up maybe if i can find a video i'll put it in the link okay and then lastly we have a chart that's at the bottom and i don't know how well you guys can see that maybe you can zoom in on it and it's supposed to be a, a, a rare sinking of three planets in the sky it's supposed to be a rare synchronization of three planets and those planets is jupiter saturn and neptune okay uh which is no big deal you know but the thing that kind of like made me put this on this chart right here is because they reach their home position meaning that okay if they had a starting point which is called the home base uh in in this year they reach that home base kind of like an exodus and you reaching home and so you got three moons you got three boxes you know and uh you got three planets all aligned you know to say it is pointing to an exodus home so it takes um neptune 12 years to reach his home base it takes saturn around 20 to 30 years i mean 28 to 30 years to reach its home base and it takes jupiter 164 years to reach his home base and all three planets is reaching their home base at the same time along with three super moons you know and along with the signs and everything else that we're seeing and um okay so if you look at march on in the equinox that's on thursday the 21st and then i have the 22nd and the 23rd highlighted which is friday and saturday on the sabbat and then we'll see what happens is Raptor News saying anything is going to happen because it's going to be a bunch of fools who hate the truth or hate anything that I say and do. I'm going to say, oh, he set a date. You know what I mean? I'm not setting a date. We are just looking at the signs. And the signs is pointing to an exodus. And it is. Not to say it's going to happen this year or next year or the next year. But it's looking like that. You know what I mean? Strap the nose.